So you've got your brand new bike and it is amazing, but after a few rides, it gets quite grubby and just doesn't have that new bike feel to it anymore and it loses its shine. But fear not, because I've got the best methods to keep your bike in tip top condition. And best of all, it's actually not that tricky. So stick around and I'll show you guys how it's done. But before we get going, I wanna know, do you use bike specific cleaning products or not? Head over to the GCN app and get voting. When you've invested in a new bike, I think it's sort of a fundamental part of ownership is to know how to clean it properly. Sure, not everyone needs to know how to fix their bike, but cleaning it is a crucial part to owning a new bike. And not only does a clean bike look great, it also lasts longer and is gonna be better for it. But what do you need to keep your bike in tip top shape? Well, there are loads of amazing bike cleaning products out there and the better the quality you can afford to buy, the better it is and the easier it's gonna make the job. But you don't need to invest into all of these because with just a few key products, you can get very similar results. And to make my life even easier, today I'm using a bike stand, but again, you don't have to have that. You could just rest your bike up against a fence or wall and it's just gonna take a little bit longer. The guys at Muckoff have been kind enough to send over some amazing products for us to use today. And luckily enough, we've got this amazing Jet Wash 2 and I know for a fact that Ollie has wanted one of these for absolutely ages, but being the new guy, I've been lucky enough to get one almost straight away. A couple of the key products we're gonna to use today is the bike shampoo and a bio degreaser. And the degreaser is great at getting all the grit and grime off of your drive chain, but you don't wanna spray it directly into your bearings because, well, it's gonna strip the grease out of those too and nobody wants that. Whilst you need to be careful with where you spray the degreaser, you don't need to be quite so careful with the bike shampoo because that's safe on all the components of your bike, so don't worry about that one. Whilst we're using a jet wash today, this is a bike specific jet wash and it differs to what you'd clean your garden patio with. This operates at a pressure much more suitable for a bike. Before we start using any of our fancy cleaning products, we're gonna to need to just go around the bike with our jet wash and blast off any loose grit, dirt and grime that we can. So let's do it now. With the loose dirt all blasted off, the first point we're gonna to move to it is our drive train to clean that up because, well, it's the dirtiest part of the bike. What we're gonna do here is take our biodegreaser, apply it to all of the dirty drive train components and give it a minute to soak in before giving it a good old scrub with a brush. Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> When you're cleaning the chain, it's important to remember to clean both sides of the chain and all the other components, not just the side that you can see straight away. And make sure you keep this brush just for those greasy components. Don't go washing your frame with it afterwards. And whilst this is all soaking in, we can take our bucket, go and get some nice warm water ready for the next steps. Is this an incredibly small brush or have I just got massive hands? Who knows? <laughs> So we've got our bucket of hot water and the degreaser has had a couple of minutes to work its magic. So next up, we need to blast it all off and make sure we thoroughly wash it off to get it all out nice and clean. And at this stage, we can check the chain to see if it's as clean as we like. And if it's not quite clean enough, well, we'll just repeat the process again until the chain's super clean. Having washed all the degreaser off the chain, as I said, we can just check it with our finger. You can see here, my finger's still a bit dirty, so I guess I better do it all again, make sure we get that super clean chain. Okay, so we've got our chain super clean, top job. That's one of the first crucial jobs done. Next up, Snow foam the bike, one of my favorite jobs. <laughs> Attached to the jet wash is just our normal bike cleaner. So if you haven't got this, you can just spray it on everywhere. We need to make sure we cover all parts of the bike ready for the next step, giving it a good scrub and brush everywhere off. Yeah. 
And if you're using a bike stand like I am, we can then remove the wheels and use a nice soft brush like this to work our way around every single part of the bike, including the wheels that we've taken out, and give everything a thorough clean. And if you need to get into any smaller little gaps, you can just use a smaller brush too. And it's important to remember to get every little part of the bike and don't forget the handlebars. We can scrub away all the sweat and germs that build up there and make sure it's nice and clean. Another area that many people forget is underneath the bottom bracket. And whilst we're cleaning all these parts of the bike, we can also inspect them as well to make sure there's no damage or problem that we might run into when we're out on the road and save ourselves the walk of shame home. Having given everything a thorough wash, we can then put the wheels back into the bike and give everything a blast off to make sure it's all cleaned thoroughly and washed off with nice clean water. But don't worry though, because the products we're using are actually biodegradable, but make sure you check yours are too. We've got our bike thoroughly washed off and next we need to dry and lubricate the bike correctly. But to make life a little bit easier, we can leave it to dry naturally whilst we tidy up the stuff that we've already used and don't need to use anymore. To dry the frame, I'm gonna use a soft microfiber cloth and to dry the drivetrain and train components, I'm gonna use an old rag because, well, like we did with the brushes, it's best to keep the chain one separate from the nice one for the frame. So what we do, we work our way around the entire bike and whilst we're doing it, we can check all the components over again to make sure nothing's damaged or broken and avoid any problems later on. To clean the chain, it's quite a simple process of just taking your cloth, putting the chain through it here and then you can just pedal the bike backwards, run the cloth through and clean all the little components as they're moving around to make sure it's nice and dry and again, super clean. You should have it now clean enough that you could even use your best white t-shirt. So you've got a clean and dry bike and all that remains is to correctly lubricate the chain and there's lots of different chain lubes out there such as these and I'm going to use the wet lube today because it's wintry and wet time outside. And whilst you're there, any areas that you haven't been able to get into to dry correctly, you could spray something like this which is a water dispersing spray to make sure the water doesn't sit into those bearings and cause any corrosion. And another step here which some people quite like to do is to use a bike, or bike protect or detail finisher. And a sort of tip that I've got for these is to spray them onto a cloth and then you can wipe them on the bike rather than spraying them directly onto the frame and risking contaminating any of the brake components. So there's loads of different cleaning products available and it's worth checking the instructions for the products that you've got. So there you have it, how to keep your bike super clean. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, give it a big thumbs up. And if you've got any good tips of your own, why not get those down in the comments section. Anyway, now my bike's super clean, I'm off to get some cool pics of it and submit them for the Bike Vault. Fingers crossed, it makes it in next week's tech show.